Hello guys and welcome back to Excel Show Academy. So today we are gonna do vesicular transport. So here we saw we talked about the uh, the vesicles which forms from the ER, which goes to the Golgi and vice versa, right? Now, now we are gonna learn in detail the mechanism of vesicular transport. So if you remember, once we have talked about the uh, endocytosis, where we have mentioned that the clathrin coated vesicles are there. Okay, do you remember? It's a tricyclion uh, protein. So it forms like this. As a form karta hai, and then they help in, you know, uh, helping help in the endocytosis. Okay. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll do it again. Okay. So these transport vesicles, they play important role in the traffic of molecules between different membrane enclosed compartments of the secretory pathway. Okay. So the, the selectivity of such transport, so selectivity of such transport is therefore, it's important to maintain the functional organization of the cell. For example, lysosomal enzymes, it must be transported. It must be transported specifically from the Golgi apparatus to the lysosome and not to the plasma membrane. And that's why the selectivity is important. Now, uh, if you remember, yesterday itself we have discussed in the previous lecture, like what this selectivity means. It is from the Golgi to the lysosome, it is the M6P receptor which is present in the Golgi apparatus and the proteins which are meant to be targeted to lysosome, they have got your mano 6 phosphate tag, correct? And this is what makes it selective or specific to be transported to the lysosomes, clear? One second, guys. Huh? Okay. So now to have it like specific. So this also I have mentioned like each vesicle which goes to your uh, destination target organelle. Okay. So they all have got these receptors. Now let's talk about the cargo selection code proteins and the vesicle budding. So in the figure, if you see most of your transport vesicles, okay, they carry proteins from ER to the Golgi and then they get coated and they go to their specific target. Okay. Now let's see, for example, over here, if you have got these proteins, see you can see receptors are there okay and then those proteins which are meant to be released outside like uh, the secretory proteins are there so they get budded so jaise jaise aapka ye bud hona shuru hoga vesicle bud hona shuru hoga these coat proteins will come and assemble and it will help in formation of the uh, coated vesicles okay now what do we see do you remember like i have talked about the about the motor proteins kinesin and dynein so these are those uh, proteins if you could see here so as if they are walking on these uh, cytoskeleton filament. Okay? So these are your motor proteins, kinesin or dynein, which walks on the uh, microtubules. Okay. Now what happens once it reaches its target membrane, the vesicle is going to get attached. Tether, matlab kya? Wo apne dock karega pe. And then they get fused and release the content. Okay, so I think this is more clear whenever we talked about like how vesicles are forming, right? So did you get this figure? Did you get this figure like how the receptors and the membrane proteins are there? They get, they form the, but they form the vesicle over here and these code proteins comes and help in the formation of the budding, okay? And then they carry on the cytoskeletal filaments to their target uh, organelle, okay? This will be more clear once we talk about the different types of the code proteins. So here we have got three types of code proteins, clathrin coated, COP1 and COP2, where COP is indicating your code protein. So there are three are there. Okay. So these codes get removed once they reach the target membrane. And so what will happen? Then they will fuse with their target membrane, come membrane say. Okay. Are you guys able to follow? This figure is really very important, okay, uh, this one to understand. Okay, so now these vesicle coated, okay, so the, what are the difference and which and how you need to remember. Ek chota sa hint deti hun, or the summary you can say actually. So from ER to Golgi apparatus, it is your COP2, okay. From Golgi to ER, it is your COP1. Bas, itna yaad kar lo, okay. 
So COP2 coated vesicles they carry proteins from ER to Golgi, budding from the transitional ER and carrying the cargo forward along the secretory pathway. In contrast, COP1 kya hai? It is from Golgi apparatus to backwards, that is to the ER. So from here you can understand that COP2 vesicles carry proteins destination to Golgi apparatus for the modification. COP1 is carrying your resident proteins for of ER. Okay. So in future, if question comes, you should be able to answer. So COP2 carries your secretary pathway proteins and COP1 carries your ER resident proteins. Did you get this point? Only this much you have to understand and remember. Akshay, is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is really very simple topic. So we could fin uh, we can finish this fast. So same thing from ER to Golgi, it is your COP2. From Golgi to ER, it is your COP1. Okay. Now, dekho. from Golgi, when it is going towards the targeted organelles like plasma membrane, lysosome, yeah, mitochondria, chloroplast, then you have clathrin coated proteins. Okay. I hope now you got the differences like how these uh, coat proteins are helping in carrying the specific vesicles over the specific organelles. Okay. So let me summarize. This is a summarized slide actually. So ER to Golgi, COP2, Golgi to ER, COP1, and from Golgi to rest of the organelles, it is your clathrin coated proteins. Now, uh, so clathrin coated vesicles, they're responsible for transport of proteins in all the directions, endosomes, lysosomes, and plasma membrane. So these formation of coated vesicle is with the help of the GTP binding proteins known as ARF and SAR. Okay, please remember this is really very important, ARF and SAR. So R functions in the formation of your COP1 and clathrin coated vesicles budding from the Golgi. SAR is in the formation of COP2 coated vesicles budding from the ER. Okay. So this point and this point, please do remember. Okay. So again, R is in the COP1 and clathrin. SAR is for your COP2. Okay. Now, these GTP binding proteins, they recruit adapter proteins. So guys, if you remember when we have talked about endocytosis, we mentioned about the protein adaptin. If you have, if you remember, clathrin coated vesicles, we have discussed it. Anyways, it will come again. So these GTP binding proteins recruit adapter proteins, which mediate vesicle assembly by interacting both with the cargo as well as the coat proteins. Okay. So first, what will happen? Your GDP is converted to the GTP found always remember right so gtp hamisha aapka active form ke liye because after the hydrolysis of gtp only there is a structural change okay now rf gtp recruits adapter protein that nucleates both carbo selection and the coat assembly so what what is happening is that uh, let me show you with the figure okay so this is how it looks okay so here if you see this R protein is a, okay, which is bound to the GDP. So this is like inactive, we can say. Now, once R gets exchanged with the GTP with the help of the GEF, one in exchange factor, your adapter, sorry, this is getting activated. Now, adapter protein comes over there. It understands, okay, or it interacts with the receptor, which is interacting with the cargo. This is signal, okay. This is a signal, the binding of the adapter to the receptor, which is bound to the cargo. Ki abhi mujhe clathrin code ko bulana hai, okay. Clathrin proteins ko bulana hai, so that they can start forming bud like this, okay. So slowly, 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 they will start bringing all those receptors, which is carrying the cargo towards the one particular area they will start concentrating here okay and slowly slowly they will start budding out so you can see that jaise jaise wo ho raha hai vaise vaise aapka clathrin coat at hota ja raha hai and eventually they will complete the entire vesicle okay now this is your clathrin coated vesicle okay now <coughs> sorry do not uh, think that these coatings are like this. This is just for reference, okay? So they will be complete like this, total. I said total 3D structure hoga, okay? Yeah. Did you get this, guys? This is really very important. If you understand this, then only you will understand uh, the video which I'll be showing you. So do you want me to repeat? And 
हियर सी देर विल बी लिटिल अटैचमेंट विल बी देर ये जो आपका प्रोटीन सॉरी ये जो आपका मेम्ब्रेन रहता है सो दिस इज हाउ इट फॉर्म्स राइट दिस इज नीड्स टू बी कट राइट सो एनी वन हु कैन टेल मी लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दिस सो वॉट वॉज दैट प्रोटीन विच वॉज हेल्पिंग इन पिंचिंग ऑफ द वॉट से पिंचिंग ऑफ द मेम्ब्रेन एनी वन हु रिमेम्बर दिस विच वन डाइनमिन डाइनिन डाइनमिन हाँ येस डाइनमिन येस येस करेक्ट 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 वेरी गुड ओके सो डाइनमिन ओके सो आई गॉट कंफ्यूज लाइक यू आर सेइंग डाइनिन this is your motor proteins on motor. mt okay so it is your dynamin okay good so what is happening eventually so it just wrap around like this and with the help of the energy it you know kaise karte hai jisse hum kheech dete hai to kya hota hai this break there will be a break over here so since we know that the phospholipids of the plasma membrane are very dynamic in nature ye reseal ho jayenge dobara and then ye yahan pe seal ho jayega so you are going to have a complete vesicle like this okay now please do remember again about the clathrin so we always say that clathrin kuch aise uh, 3 polypeptide chain ka bana rehta hai okay so it is also known as triskelion so it has got heavy chain and light chain Okay, so that is about all that. Now, this dynamin to carry out this the stretching over here again, it needs GTP hydrolysis. So wherever the protein conformational changes are there, always there we need GTP hydrolysis. Okay, cool. So anyone who did not get this point, Sunil, is it clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what is that ARF? This is just now I said that they are your. Uh, uh gtp binding proteins see so they these are the proteins which is helping in you know uh, in recruiting your cop1 or clathrin or cop2 proteins so we have got these gtp binding proteins arf and sar okay so sar is for your cop2 arf arf it is for your cop1 and clathrin coated vesicles are you asking me the full form No, no. Actually, ah, I wanted okay. to know what is the function of it. So I understand. Ha ha ha. So the same thing, na? Arf. So here it is bound with the GDP. Okay. So once it gets exchanged with the help of the guanine exchange factor, it gets bound to the GTP. So when it is bound to the GTP, then only the adapter protein comes and gets recruited over here. This association is helpful in understanding or recognition of a receptor bound to cargo. अब जब ये एक बार interaction होता है, then they start bringing all the interacting uh, receptor and cargo in one place. ये कैसे हो गया? यहाँ यहाँ scattered रहते हैं, right? So once they understand कि अरे हाँ ये सब मुझे वहाँ भेजना है, यहाँ लाना है, so they come into one position. And then these catheter will start adding to the membrane surface and bringing. You know, they just start. With each uh, clathrin conformational change, the bud, uh, the vesicle will start coming out. Bud form होने लग जाएगा, ठीक है? So first it will look like something like this. कि वो एक छोटा सा बना. Then more are came coming. So धीरे-धीरे add होते-होते what will happen? ऐसे बड़ा-बड़ा invagination बनने लग जाएगा. So so many so many clathrin proteins are coming. Eventually at the end dynamin will come and pinch off from the membrane. ठीक है, I have got the video. Uh, this is from YouTube only. Let's see whether we can, you know, getting more information or not. How do I click on this? So, are you able to see the screen? I'm a cyber security pro. With sympathy. Yes. No, are you? No, no. Wait, wait. Let me share then. We learn cybersecurity expert master's program. Gain it. Now, now, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. The functional unit of clathrin is known as a triskelion, a three-legged structure made up of three heavy chains and three light chains. Extended interleg contacts between different triskelions allow clathrin to self-assemble into regular lattices. Adapter protein complexes are able to simultaneously bind to clathrin, membrane lipids, and membrane-bound receptor proteins, and thereby direct the assembly of a clathrin coat around cargo that is destined for internalization. The binding site for transmembrane receptor proteins may only become accessible, however, after a conformational change that is probably triggered by binding to clathrin or other accessory molecules. Clathrin cage disassembly is mediated by HSC70 and its cofactor, oxillin. Oxillin binds to the clathrin lattice at vertex points where three triskelion legs meet and recruits HSC70 to this site, leading to the rapid disassembly of the clathrin cage. Okay. Okay. Did you get the point? Like how these proteins are being recruited and uh, uh, the clathrin comes and forms the vesicle? Yes, Shruti? Was it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. So. I know, I mean, these videos are from YouTube only directly. It just makes it more easy to understand while, you know, studying or usi time, agar hum kuch video dekh lehe, so it makes our concept more clear. Okay. So there they have mentioned about the HSC 70 and oxalin protein. So that is like extra only. It's okay if you don't remember. They are just nothing but HSC 70. It's, it's, uh, it's a protein which belong to your heat shock protein 70 family only. Where HSC stands for heat shock cognate. Okay, 70 is again the kilo Dalton uh, molecular weight of the protein. And oxygen is again the factors. So these proteins are helping in the, uh, you know, bringing about the or making the your uh, uh, clathrin proteins properly. Like again, your HSC 70, these proteins are belonging to your uh, chaperone family, right? Heat shock protein. So, uska kya kaam hai? just to maintain that homeostasis when it is doing its function. Okay, nothing much of it. Now, coming to the fusion. So, abhi kya humne dekha? that vesicle has been formed. Okay, now it is being targeted to the uh, proper destination. For example, the transport vesicle must recognize the correct target membrane. For example, vesicle carrying lysosomal enzymes has to reach and deliver its car cargo to the lysosome only. Then for this, the vesicle and the target membrane must fuse. Then only the cargo will be delivered to the organelle. Correct. Now for this, so I have got uh, two, three images just to explain this scenario. I didn't get the proper video to explain, uh, to show. So what you can see here is, so vesicle is a, and then we have got the target membrane, right? So it is on the vesicle you have got V snare and on the target you have got the uh, T snare. Okay. Now these snare proteins, what are these snare proteins? They're actually giving the recognition. Okay. Ki kaun sa aapka kaha pe jana <clears throat> so this one second guys. 
Yes. Okay. So as I was saying that your target and your uh, target is going to have known as the T snare protein and vesicle will have V snare. Okay. So V is for vesicle, T is for target. Now what is this snare? Uh, it's okay if you don't know the full form. That's okay because it really has got a very big form, uh, big full form. So uh, this is actually in short SNAP receptor it is known as. Okay. Where SNAP stands for your soluble NSF attachment protein. Where NSF stands for n ethyl melamide sensitive factor. Okay, so this you can get from the net also. Uh, maybe I can write it here itself. So it is your SNAP receptor where SNAP stands for your soluble NSF attachment protein. Okay, soluble NSF attachment protein where NSF again stands for N ethyl melamide sensitive factor. This is such a big acronym and it's okay if you don't remember, that's okay. But do understand that vesicle and target has got different, different snare protein. Okay. Now, coming back to here. So as we saw the vesicle comes and it is as a present on the cytofilament, uh, right? So with the help of those motor proteins, it is being brought. What happens is after that it gets tether. So you know how ships are getting docked on the surface, right? In the same way, over here also with the help of the RAB proteins and these tethering factors, it gets docked over here. Docking means so ja attach ho jata hai. Hai? Now with the help of these proteins, snare proteins, synaptoprevin proteins, synaptotexin proteins, these are getting fused. Okay. Now you can see here. So ye membrane is quite a fuse ho jayega. This maybe last time when I was explaining the figure was not clear and uh, there was some confusion also. Uh, so maybe in this diagram it will get clear. Okay. And then what is happening? These two proteins, see, can you see these proteins, the snare proteins, what they do, they actually start pulling. Just imagine ye aisa kuch hai aapke paas aur yahan pe kuch hai aapke paas. So what you have, what you do, these proteins which are present, okay, and here it is present, they get wrapped over here with the, uh, with the help of the third protein. Yahan pe aise wrap karne wala, these are protein hai. And now it is forcefully pushing, ki yahan pe aao, yahan pe aao. So what happens? The phospholipids which is present, they, you know, yahan ka jabbar jasi yahan pe ghus raha hai. So what will happen? Then the fusion happens between here. Okay, maybe it is clear in the other figure I can show the same thing what we are going to discuss. Yeah, so I think this is more better. So let's say this is your V snare, uh, V snare and this is your uh, T snare head. Okay? Of course, this all needs your calcium. Okay, to carry out this protein, these proteins, SNAP25 or synaptogamine, synaptobrevin, syntaxin, all these proteins gets activated in the presence of more calcium. Now, can you see? you have got the proteins which is present on the vesicle, ye purple wala. that is your synaptogamine proteins, okay? Then you have got, <clears throat> then you have got V-snare and T-snare. This red one is the V-snare of your vesicle and this uh, orange color one is the T-snare of your target. Okay, is this much clear? Sorry. Is this much clear? The proteins are clear, right? Ye ho gaya aapka V snare, ye ho gaya aapka T snare. Okay. Now what is happening is that these two will bind. It as a entered coil ho jayenge ek dusre mein. Okay. Now with the help of the proteins. Now synaptogamine is making interactions with the receptors present over here. Jaha pe aapka calcium present hai. Okay. Then these proteins, you know, they get pulled. Ab kisi cheez ko aap aise kheecho ke to kya hoga? Forcefully forcefully when you pull it, these two will come in contact. So they will get fused, these two. Can you see? Iska outer or iska outer pe, they will get fused. And here this one eventually will get fused over here because there will be a break. So they start forming hemimicyl. Because 
your phospholipids cannot remain in as a open yar you know where they can be a break since they are very dynamic they start forming like this and eventually they will come in a planar structure where it will form a bilayer ab kya hua same thing happen over here also forcefully ye isko bhi kheecha isko bhi kheecha with the help of another protein so all these got fused with your target membrane and hence this was released out yes any doubts is this part clear like how this is getting fused with this and inner wall is getting fused with this yes ma'am okay there is another figure for more clarity okay see ye aapka vesicle mein present hai okay this two uh, oh timing this is present over here because this has to make interactions with the calcium okay then it gets activated all these proteins are getting activated ab aapka ye present hai this one and ye aapka present hua target ka ye vesicle ka i should take another color one second yeah okay this one and this one now later you can see that they all these two are getting coiled with the help of another protein and usko kheecha ja raha hai theek hai so when this is being snap isko jab hum kheechte hain so this forcefully gets fused with this one iska membrane iske sath fuse ho jayega and eventually this one will get fused with this okay so this is how your vesicle fusion is taking place i did not get the good video otherwise i would have shown that also yeah so that's all guys